Good morning. Uh, today we're going to try out something new. An attempt to make dumplings, steamed dumplings, from rice paper. And we're going to keep it vegetarian. We're going to have some organic tofu, some mushrooms, carrots, two types of cabbage, the purple one for color, regular one, and some herbs. Let's get chopping. We're gonna uh, try to get everything as small, as small as possible, because we're gonna have to fit it into little dumplings. Okay, so for the cabbage, I began by slicing across, and now I'm gonna go ahead and go this way. So we make, we sort of make little cubes, but tiny ones, like that. So I'll show you how that goes. Alrighty, so we have ourselves something like this. Okay, so for the carrots, I'm going to take my peeler and continue peeling after I already washed them and, and you know, peeled the top coat off and uh, make these little shreds. And then we're going to cut across and again, chop them into cubes. Always wanted to try this, actually, never did. Let's see. Okay, so basically it's shreds like these. You just align them and you go chopping this way. Okay, so we have our carrots. Okay, this is our tofu. I'm also gonna cube it. Um, I read that traditionally, this is like sort of a gyoza dumpling that we're, that we're trying to uh, make. I'm just changing a few things around. I'm not using gyoza wrappers. I'm using rice paper. Um, so traditionally it says that sometimes pork, like minced pork is used. I don't have that on hand. Uh, I'm sticking to tofu and um, I'm sure you could probably use uh, like beef or something. So yeah, definitely give it a try. Try out different options. Tofu is cubed. Next up, mushrooms. Okay, got our mushrooms here. I'm gonna start the sauteing process. Actually, before I put the mushrooms on, I'm gonna put some onion on the pan. Okay, onions on. Mushrooms on. Spray kind of with oil. Yeah. Okay, cabbage in. Everything's going to kind of reduce in size, so it may seem like it's a lot now. I think it's all going to go down. Everything also in purple cabbage in it looks amazing already. I just want to eat it just like that. Uh, let's begin our flavoring. Add a little salt. Okay, to this I'm adding my chopped up garlic, the dill, the chives few pieces of ginger. I'm going to fish them out after. I'm not going to put them in the filling. And we're going to complete the cooking process very, very shortly uh, because we're still, this, uh, these ingredients are still going to have a chance to steam inside the dumplings. And there we have it. Our filling is complete. Alrighty, now it's arts and crafts time. We're going to take our rice papers, cut it into uh, four pieces with some food scissors. So it's gonna look like this. Then we're gonna have a either bowl of water or just a, any, basically any container of water. We're gonna dip our rice paper uh, and take it out when it feels pliable. Right now it's still, still hard. Uh, once it starts getting soft, we're gonna take a parchment paper, grease it, uh, put our little uh, rice paper piece, put some filling inside, cover it up, and lay them out like this so we have them on a grease surface so they don't stick. Okay, so let's see. Yeah, it's becoming pliable. I guess we can mold it. Okay, so lay it out here. It's not going to stick. I'm going to put our filling. Okay, our filling is on. I'm going to fold it in like this slightly slightly like this just 
just make an envelope out of it. Cover, cover wherever you can. Uh, there's many different ways of folding. This one I did more like a dumpling. So I folded in the edges and then, you know, kind of bound it here. Uh, we can try different methods. This one seems to be sticking. Okay, you can even fold in some of the edges so it doesn't come apart. Okay, continue doing this. And then we're gonna steam them. Alrighty, so I have here a pot of boiling water. I'm gonna use one of these, like a colander, creating a double boiler. I already put some grease over here. I just took a bounty and I uh, put some oil and oiled the top so the dumplings don't stick. We're gonna steam them. I'm gonna try four. <laughs> I just made eight uh, just for demonstration purposes. I'm gonna try to put four of them in there and maybe, depending on how that goes, we're gonna try to fry four of the other ones because they do serve uh, them steamed or fried. So let's see. Okay, got them in there. You see the steam, covering it with a lid. Okay, here we have our pan. Let's try to fry these up. All right, so these seem to be ready. I just turned off the heat. Oof, you can still see the steam. These on the other side kind of seem to be ready as well. I tried to flip them and the rice paper seems to be coming apart, <laughs> but I think they're gonna be delicious anyway. I made for future recipes, try to get regular gyoza shells um, and attempt doing it that way. Uh, but just judging by the combinations that we have inside these wrappers, I think it should be delicious anyway. Okay, product complete. We have our four steamed. We have our four fried. There we go. Uh, serve nicely, grease your plate so they don't stick later on. Dip it in some soy sauce and let's try it out. Okay, I can't wait to try it. I felt like I have to reflect back since my first time making these. Let's see if I can yeah, I'm not very good with this. Oh, I got it. Dip it in some soy sauce. Oh, please don't fall apart. Actually, not bad. Not bad at all. Mm, delicious. I definitely do try it out.